That's right here. Oops. So this house is above ground, guys. We're looking at the bricks now. Because in, in Louisiana, we can't have basements. Like, you know, where I'm from, Illinois, I grew up with a basement because, you know, I grew up in Tornado Alley. But here, down here in Louisiana, normally, because there's so much rain, but this year it's just been in, intolerable heat. But usually, because they have so much rain and hurricanes and typhoons and tropical storms down here, if they try to make even a, uh, a a long garden or try to build a basement, it would just all collapse because Louisiana's ground is just so moist that the basement wouldn't last. So that's why usually, especially French Creoles, they, you know, the place like, because if you go underneath here, it's cool. Like if you come underneath here, it's like nice and cool. So this is where they would actually put some of their wines and their foods. It's closed off now, but originally, like Laura, this is where they would put it. See right here, the cypress wood. It's a very durable wood. Stands the test of time. It stands the test of time. It's resistant to water, mold, mildew. And termites. And termites hate it, sure. Yep, termites hate it. And it's, it's expensive okay. if you're in the market for some. Check it out, everybody. I am at Magnolia Mound Plantation. We're in Baton Rouge. I'm with Jackson over there. He works at Oak Gallery. Alley. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to say that. And with okay. Kiefer Fox. Did I get your name right? Kiefer. Kiefer. Kiefer hey, runs a website focusing on plantations in Louisiana. What's the name of your website? Oh, it's on Facebook, actually. Yeah, Sorry, it's guys. It's on Facebook, and um, it's just not Louisiana. We also do other southern states, too. But since I, am, I live in Louisiana, this is where I base off all of the pictures that I post. Now, I'm eventually going to try to spread out into Mississippi and Georgia, but for right now, this is what I love doing. I love traveling to plantations, whether they're publicly owned or if they're privately owned. Now, if they're privately owned and they ask not to take pictures, I will grant their wishes. But I love doing what I'm doing, and I hope you all can join me on Facebook. Again, it's called Plantations and Mansions, and I hope to see you there. This is the front of the house where we're going to meet our tour guide it's right here on nicholson avenue if you're driving of course the address will be in the description but they're getting some good standalone photos out here so this is an oak tree right here it's got a big old limb going in front of the home I think they're gonna have to cut that eventually, right? Definitely. Because you don't want because the trees that can attract like wildlife, like bugs and other creatures. Plus, it can cause mildew with the house, which is not good. Yeah. Uh, they definitely need to cut that. Here we are with. Jackson. That's correct. So tell us about yourself, Jackson. Well, I'm a full-time tour guide at Oak Alley Plantation. Before then, I've always been a history enthusiast. So I used to watch History Channel growing up, and I originally joined with Kitford's little group. We're on a little uh, adventure today. But one of the missions that I have, and also with the group, is keep these places preserved for future generations to come. So I appreciate the chance to be on your page. Nice. All right, we're going to go inside, guys. I'm going to film until they tell me to put it down. Hey, I'm hey, Darren. How are you? Good to meet you. What's going on? What's going on? I'm good. So, Excellent. Uh, I'll give you a little tour and then like uh, you can fill in what you think like you can contribute to my tour. Uh -huh. All right, everybody. Well, this is the point in the video where we are going to switch to a photo montage. Sure, I could have theoretically videoed inside this house, but we had gotten our tour guide into a little bit of trouble, and I'm not here to cause any waves today. I'm basically following the two gentlemen here on their personal agenda, and I thought you guys would enjoy some of this content as well. So here we are. The tour guide took us through each room in the Magnolia Mound Plantation home, 
She talked about the history of the house and the property. We learned about the owners. She pointed out a lot of items, furniture, and artifacts in each room, telling us the historical significance of these items, the function of them, and in some cases, how they were connected to the home. I generally don't bog you down with a lot of history and facts on these particular places that I go to. Why? Well, I just like to give you a little glimpse of things you may experience if you choose to go and maybe encourage you to come on out here and experience for yourself. I will let you know, however, that this tour of Magnolia Mound Plantation will cost $12 for an adult, $5 for children between 5 and 17 years old. Under that, they get in free. Uh, there's also discounts for military people, teachers, and such. Right now, we are experiencing the guided house tour. As you see, we are having a blast. These pictures are actually coming out better than I expected. But there is more to Magnolia Mound Plantation than this. You also get access to the grounds. There is a privy here. We have restored slave quarters as well as an open hearth kitchen, which we are going to show you later in the video, so don't click out. Now we're in the kitchen. She said we can video in here in the kitchen. Since I just showed you those pictures, I'm going to have video of this. We built up at the same spot. Yeah. Because this is where. Yeah. It's so like four o'clock in the morning, the overseer will ring the bell, and uh, the slaves who are responsible for cooking, they come and build a fire at four o'clock, and the house slaves will go to the house, and the field slaves will go to, you know, like fields, and the timing is like sun up and sun down. So. On a summer day like this, they might be working almost like 12 hours or something like that. And uh, this is a uh, reflector oven. Oh, wow. You can just put a little bit of uh, chicken or any kind of meat to it. What is it called? Uh, reflector oven. Reflector oven. Okay, and, uh, there we go. So, like, turn it around after some time, and it will be kept just in front of the fire. Here you see a smoking board for the fish. You nail the fish and keep it there and then you can smoke it. Oh wow. And, uh, this is a bread or bake oven. You will be burning the firewood and from there and then like after you heat to a required temperature, let's say 300 degree, you remove the coal, but being a slave, you're not supposed to burn bread or cake. So the slaves have to be very careful about that. So they have a way of testing the temperature. One is you can put your hand at uh, the mouth of the oven, count up to 10. If you could hold till then without getting like overheated, that's the right temperature. Or they might they'll throw some flowers to see the hot. All right. Well, I wanted to include that part in the video to give you an idea of what the tour was actually like. So let me know what you think about this particular video in the comments. Did you enjoy seeing Kiefer and Jackson in the video? If so, let me know. Maybe we can spend more time with them. It has a little variety to the adventures and such. What did you think about it? I absolutely loved it. Um, they say true to the house. They actually have done the research about it. Um, it, it is just a beautiful property and I, I would love to come back and, you know, uh, visit more of it sometime and I'm glad I live close. <laughs> this is probably where that road is now. Yeah.
So this is a model of Magnolia Man Plantation. Thank you so much for watching this video and making it this far. If you enjoyed Magnolia Mound Plantation and you want to see a little bit more, I'm going to put a link at the very end of this video to another video. It will be Magnolia Mound at Christmas. Sure, I've been here before and it was actually a very festive little Creole celebration. Thank you so much again, guys. Please share as well.